at the end of every three years, thou shalt bring forth all the tithe of thy increase in the same year, and shalt lay it up within thy gates. And the lay we, because he hath no portion nor inheritance with thee, and the sojourner, and the fatherless, and the widow that are within thy gates, shall come, and shall eat, and be satisfied, that Yahweh thy God may bless thee in all the work of thy hand which thou doest. Devarim, Deuteronomy, chapter 15. At the end of every seven years thou shalt make a release, and this is the manner of the release. Every creditor shall release that which he hath lent to his neighbour. He shall not exact it of his neighbour and his brother, because Yahweh's release hath been proclaimed. Of a foreigner thou mayest exact it, but whatsoever of thine is with thy brother, thy hand shall release. Howbeit, there shall be no poor with thee, for Yahweh will surely bless thee in the land which Yahweh thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it. If only thou diligently hearken to the voice of Yahweh thy God, to observe to do all this command which I command thee this day. For Yahweh thy God will bless thee, as he promised thee, and thou shalt lend to many nations, but thou shalt not borrow, and thou shalt rule over many nations, but they shall not rule over thee. If there be with thee a poor man, one of thy brothers, within any of thy gates in the land which Yahweh thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not harden thy heart, nor shut thy hand from thy poor brother, but thou shalt surely open thy hand to him, and shalt surely lend him sufficient for his need in that which he lacketh. Beware that there be not a base thought in thy heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, hath become near, and thy eye be evil against thy poor brother, and thou give him naught, and he cry to Yahweh against thee, and it be sin to thee. Thou shalt surely give to him, and thy heart shall not be grieved when thou givest to him, because that for this thing Yahweh thy God will bless thee in all thy work, and in all that thou puttest thy hand to. For the poor will never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt surely open thy hand to thy brother, to thy needy, and to thy poor in thy land. If thy brother, a ebri or a ebriya, be sold to thee, and serve thee six years, then in the seventh year thou shalt let him go free from thee. And when thou lettest him go free from thee, thou shalt not let him go empty. Ornamentingly thou shalt ornament for him around the neck, out of thy flock, and out of thy threshing floor, and out of thy winepress, as Yahweh thy God hath blessed thee, thou shalt give to him. And thou shalt remember that thou wast a bondman in the land of Mithraim, and Yahweh thy God redeemed thee. Therefore I command thee this thing today. 
and it shall be, if he say to thee, I will not go out from thee, because he loveth thee and thy house, because he is well with thee, then thou shalt take an awl, and thrust it through his ear to the door, and he shall be thy bondservant for ever, and also to thy bondservantess thou shalt do likewise. It shall not seem hard to thee, when thou lettest him go free from thee, for to the double of the hire of a hireling hath he served thee six years, and Yahweh thy God will bless thee in all that thou doest. All the firstling males that are born of thy herd and of thy flock thou shalt sanctify to Yahweh thy God. Thou shalt do no work with the firstling of thy herd, nor shear the firstling of thy flock. Thou shalt eat it before Yahweh thy God year by year in the place which Yahweh shall choose, thou and thy household. And if it have any blemish, as if it be lame or blind, any ill blemish whatsoever, thou shalt not sacrifice it to Yahweh thy God. Thou shalt eat it within thy gates. The unclean and the clean shall eat it alike, as the gazelle and as the heart. Only thou shalt not eat the blood thereof. Thou shalt pour it out upon the ground as water. Observe the month of the Aviv, and thou shalt effectuate the Passover to Yahweh thy God. For in the month of the Aviv, Yahweh thy God brought thee forth out of Mithraim by night.